It's not a good day if you don't rant about Overwatch 2, am I right? Hello everyone and welcome to this shorter yet not worse video than usual. That's because the content I will be talking about is 2 minutes and 24 seconds long. And opposite to some other Overwatch content creators, I won't be sweating my ass off to make the video barely longer than 8 minutes because I'm not a greedy goblin. Today I'd like to review all the skins shown in the newest season 10 trailer, which means all the venture talks and runs will have to wait for a a little bit longer. Just wait you mall, I'll get to you eventually. And just like that, the content I will be talking about is a minute shorter. Great. Let's start off with how the theme of this season has been introduced, which is a simple stun mechanic where Doomfist charges into Reinhardt, showing the first two skins we get to talk about. This season's theme is Mirror Watch, Ooh, which means all the good boys are now bad boys and all bad boys are now lame. We will see those skins later on with more detail, so for now let's skip a few seconds and would you look at that. The first three heroes we see are domesticated Sombra, Diva on high heels and the transgender Ana. I love how they kept the spider for wind she gets a 7 out of 10, Doomfist has goofy oversized shoes and it's very blue, 5 out of 10, and Sombra is okay, 6 out of 10. Next is the Talon, top version. I like how Blizzard thinks that if you give very dark lips and red eyes it automatically makes them a part of an evil organization. There is no reason why Tracer has torn clothes, Talon is richer than Elon Musk himself. They just cranked the villainousness, villainousness. to 200% for no reason. 5 out of 10. Bridget looks like she's going through depression, but her armor looks nice. 7 out of 10. And Reinhardt has the same issue as Tracer, which is making him look more like Urgot than an actual Talon member. 6 out of 10. We'll get a look at those skins later too, so now the creme la creme, mercy mythic skin. Usually mythic skins have three variants and here we get that package too. We get the reaper knockoff combined with the witcher. I'd say it's a solid 8 out of 10, but it barely represents talent other than the tiny logo on the shoulder. The white and blue skin looks like any other legendary skin for mercy, nothing outstanding, just a different hair color, but the healing stuff looks very nice, so 7 out of 10. And the purple, oh... God, the purple, 10 out of 10, is what I'd say, if not the horrendous visor on her eyes. Stuff looks great here too, so at the end, 8 out of 10. Then we have some new game mode shenanigans, and who poo poo poo, hold on a second, that is a giant Talon logo on Watchpoint Gibraltar. They really did full on mirror style in this event. Oh, and also there's a Nana skin, 9 out of 10. Then we have some solo actions with Symmetra from Junkertown. I like the idea, just not the execution, 6 out of 10. Baptiste gets an early Halloween skin, which gives him a little tail to wag. Kinda cute, not gonna lie, 7 out of 10. Later on, they show some skins again, but here we see the Sojourn skin, where they turned her into a 2020 SoundCloud rapper, 6 out of 10, I guess. And oh my sweet lordy Jeffrey Kaplan, that is a good Zenyatta skin. Too bad I won't be able to afford it. 9 out of 10. Right next to it we have the Candy Cadet Candy Orisa. Here. I don't know why, but it's absolutely phenomenal. 10 out of 10. And lastly, some filler content. 4 out of 10. Just kidding, there is one more skin. That is the Porsche collab with D.Va. And let me just say, Porsche just lost a couple of prestige points for that move. But this skin looks nice. 9 out of 10. In conclusion, I kinda feel sad that they didn't show off any venture skins for this event, especially that their name is in the title of the season, kinda dumb if you ask me, and you can stare at the Mercy Mythic skin a little longer to solidify that 8 out of 10 experience. If you don't agree with my ratings then go ahead and fight me in the comments or my discord server where I can ban you if your opinions suck. Thanks for watching, have a lovely day, bye bye.